All right, what is up guys? VV back with another video. And uh, today we got a little in-house scrimmage, me versus my son. Uh, playing a little blue-black Rebecca, Dress Rosa, versus uh, Katakuri, some big mom action. And um, this deck is pretty much the top placing deck for Katakuri from, from uh, the OP04 regional PPG. But we were lacking two Katakuri 8 costs. So in the place we put in two more of the vanillas where he, he's running three, uh, no, no, he put in another, uh, let me pause it, sorry guys, <clears throat> where instead of playing uh, the Katakuri eight cost, we put in a vanilla Randolph. So we went up to three Randolphs and there were already three uh, six cost pair of Sparrows. And then we went up one more seven cost Big Mom, uh, Charlotte Lynn, the seven cost. But I don't, I, we would play four, but I just don't have them, unfortunately. Uh, and this Rebecca list is just a copy-paste of the person who went uh, 9 and 0. So, okay, let me go back a little bit here. All right, so let's go back. Okay, so turn 1, I did the Rebecca search, and let's see what I got from it. <clears throat> okay. So I grabbed the, the Rebecca and toss Leo. And then Ryland goes and plays <clears throat> pass. He plays <laughs> 2 Dawn and pass. And for my turn, for the Rebecca turn two here, my turn two, get down to quarter Coliseum so I get down to six cards, use Rebecca's search, trash the Luffy because I already had one in hand, I believe. Actually, no, no, that's right. I changed my mind. I was like, you know what? Let me make sure I get the Luffy. Then I do a Rebecca search and got the Kairos. That was kind of just fortunate. That was lucky. But, you know, it worked out. Um, yeah, I tried to. Unfortunately, this camera angle is not going to work for revealing cards. But, you know, I'll work on that in the future. Okay, so... Here my son goes uh, seven at face. He said six, and and he was like, no, no, it's seven. I was like, oh, okay, let me change that back. And then I went to check to make sure the camera was looking okay. <clears throat> but yeah, the um, I wasn't even thinking because I was reading cards in hand, and he said six, so I just 2K count. I, he goes, oh, whoops, I meant, I meant um, seven. And I said, okay, well, then let, let me go up to eight then. because So the main reason I went down to or used the two cards is so I could use my leader's effect this turn. Okay, because remember, with, with um, Rebecca, let me pause, it, it's a double-edged sword here where you do want to use cards out of hand to defend your life so you can use your leader's effect. However, you also don't want to keep all your life because eventually you're just going to start losing life for no reason because of cards like um, Big Mom, you know, seven, or excuse me, 10 cost Charlotte Linlin, right? So, it, but at the same time, you know, you don't just want to throw life away either. <clears throat> so it really just depends. So, okay, so that was the reason why I countered out for eight uh, this early. Um, all right, so I'm, I've got six cards in hand. It looks like you can, it looks like you can kind of see my hand, but I'm at six cards, so I use the uh, leader's effect. Go ahead and grab Nor Lumbus, play it out, and I'm, I'm basically, here I'm just saying, go ahead and use your removal on my Lumbus. Anything to slow you down here, and I think he does. I think he does Thunderbolt it. Um, cause, cause I was asking him, I'm like, Hey, do you have any removal here? Cause this is probably your best chance to use it. And, and our, the logic for both of us here was, okay, what else is he going to use it on? It's not going to work on Kairos cause I've got the leader and the quarter Coliseum down. It's not going to work on Luffy cause he has no cost reduction. So maybe it could work on a Sabo later in the game. But again, you know, it just kind of made sense uh, to do it this way. Okay, so he attaches a Dawn to Leader. He's still getting used to that. He, he does it first. Um, and he swings eight here. And I go, okay, I'll just bottom deck your Pair of Sparrow. That was just lucky. Uh, so that way he doesn't get the search effect from it. And I already had a, um, a 3,000 worlds in hand. So he swings for seven again. And I say, okay, I am going to take this. Because I, I was very low on counters in hand. Very low on counters. So it's my turn. I did go first, so I'm at seven Dawn now uh, with Rebecca here. Handful of cards. I've got a lot of options and seven Dawn on the board. <clears throat> and honestly, looking back at it, okay, so, so I used the Rebecca search for the, uh, the, the character Rebecca because I have too many cards in hand to use the leader's effect. Whoops, what did I get? I'm sorry, I wasn't even paying attention. I grabbed the, the or I, I grabbed the, the Gats and Leo is still on the board. I missed putting, the, I, I get it later, but the, the, I was like, wait, what, where did this Leo come from? Uh, so I play Kairos. I'm trying to just fill the board up here and then I play an Idio and I'm like, wait, where did, the, <laughs> where did this Leo come from? And I was like, wait, that had to have been from a search. So I just, I, I put it in the trash real quick. Um, okay, and then I pay one. Now I have enough to use my leader's effect. I grab another Luffy, trash the King Kong gun. I'm feeling good at this point. The 
the board control is definitely my favorite, you know, but, but it's, it's still a long way to go. Still a long game left. And we are watching this in 2x speed, so sometimes I have to go backwards just to fix some stuff. And it looks like two Sanjis... Yeah, okay, and, and he plays... I, I was going to say, I saw two Sanjis in, a, in a Rylan's hand there. So it looks like he kind of had a bad pull. And I'm wondering if that has to do with the fact that we had just put the deck together, so we have to... Um, we, we just need to shuffle it. We just need to keep shuffling a little better. Um, one of us keeps hitting the table. It's probably me. Um, but it keeps shaking the camera. So I, I do apologize about the shaky camera. So I play Luffy here. I use Leader's Effect. <clears throat> uh, trash a Tashigi and a 3000 Worlds. Couldn't use any of those. And I swing eight at one of the Sabos here. Uh, Sanji, excuse me. One of the Sanjis. Then I swing five at life. I'm trying to get him to use the blocker if possible, but I knew he wouldn't do it. But then I'm going to stand up Luffy and swing eight at um, Sanji anyway. Okay. And then I swing eight. And at first, uh, I think he didn't realize it was uh, seven, so he countered four eight. And I was like, wait, you know, you have to you have to counter to, you have to get to nine because I'm swinging eight. Because, you know, number one, that's the only dawn I had left for the turn. And number two, it does force two two kick counters in a hand. So he goes, okay, my bad. Let me go and take that back. And my son is only 12, so, you know, he is still learning the game. He's not like a pro or anything. He's, he's still figuring a lot out. He's a good player for his age especially, but, you know, he's still learning some of the basics. Okay, so he's got 10 Dawn, and I can't quite see his hand. It looks like he has a Cracker and a Mandy, uh, another Thunderbolt. Yeah, I think, see, I will say this. I think he just didn't quite have a great pull. Okay, which happens. It does happen. So let's see what his next play is going to be here. So he's going to attach three to lead, looks like, and swing for nine. Uh, looks like he's making up his mind. Oh, oh, so right here we had a conversation. Uh, he was saying, what if I swing at Kairos? Like, how does his ability work? Because he's still learning some of the effects. And I was saying, if you swing at Kairos, all I have to do to make him survive is tap my core to cost him. And he goes, well, what if I Thunderbolt after that? Then I tap my leader. And then he said, what do I Thunderbolt after that? I said, well, then you can get him. But is it worth all that? And he goes, no. You know, so, so you know, this was a very much a learning experience um, for my son. You know, he's still learning uh, how how to play against Rebecca. This is his first time really playing against Rebecca in OP04. Okay. So so he develops the board here, plays Parasparrow, uh, three cost, and the four cost Charlotte Cracker. Um, my Luffy does not untap this turn for obvious reasons. I swung twice with him last turn. Uh, I've got 10 Dawns in the trash, or 10, 10 Dawn. I have 10 cards in my trash, and I'm just going to use a uh, Sa Sanji there. Wait a minute, did I, hang on, let me back up some. Did I accidentally tap too much Dawn to play Sanji? I did. So that's funny. Looking back, I, abs I accidentally tapped six Dawn to play Sanji, uh, or Sabo, goodness, sorry guys, to play Sabo. I guess it won't end up mattering in the end here. Let me see something real quick. So then I use the leader's effect. I grab whatever that... I didn't even see it. I, I pulled it so fast. Uh, trash the quarter call. See him. I think it was a Leo or a Rebecca or something. Uh, pay one. Yep. I th I'm pretty sure it was the Rebecca. So now I'll look at the top three. And this is a tough choice here. Those are all three incredibly good decisions, you know, to, to grab here. But I think I grabbed the Sabo because I'm starting to think like, okay, if he starts playing down Charlotte Lin Lins, I'm in trouble, right? Because I'm going to start losing a lot of life at a time here. So right here, um, this is another really good learning turn for my son. Uh, first of all, okay, he, so he has an eight cost Katakuri in hand. He has two very strong plays here. I think he does the best play. Um, but I think like the strongest play here is to uh, top deck the um the luffy which then turned on his it put me at four life and he's at three life so it allowed him to swing for double strike with his cat with his cracker so okay so me and him are kind of talking about that right here i do apologize i know the game plays a little bit slow even for 2x speed but this was a pretty educational game for for uh for him okay so right here he doesn't realize it yet this is where i explained to him i'm like oh nice so you know i'm like hey so now i'm at four life and you're at three so your so your cracker's effect is turned on now, and he's like, ah, okay. So, you know, he's he's starting to get some of the interactions, which is always good to see, right? It's always good to see the next generation of players learning. As a teacher, that is one of my app, like as a teacher in real life, right? Like my, my actual profession in life is a teacher uh, at a high school level. 
Um, I've taught at a middle school level as well, but high school is what I is what I prefer, and that's what I teach now currently. And as a teacher, one of the most satisfying thing we gotta pause it. Sorry, guys. Um, one of the most satisfying things for me is to see when something clicks, right? When when a concept that was uh, complicated like actually clicks, right? That's a, a very satisfying as a teacher. Okay, so so real quick, hang on. So he swings for six seven at me. And I take it. I don't want to lose my lead, my uh, Sabo here. Or my yeah, excuse me. I don't want to lose Sabo. I know he's going to swing with his other uh, with his uh, his uh, Katakuri. So now I block with it and two K out. Get to eight. Uh, he looks at my top card. Says, "Yep, you can keep that." And I think it was an idiot. All right. And then he swings for five at me because he has no more Dawn to pump to take out my Sabo. Because I really want to get to the point. Like, I thought this game, you know, I don't know how this game is going to go, but in my mind I'm thinking, okay, this game is going to go into Charlotte Lin, Lin after Charlotte Lin, Lin or something like that. Okay, so I start preparing the board here. I get Orlumbus. Um, I use his effect to minus four to the cost of the Katakuri. And then I 3,000 worlds it. And it looks like he just trashed it. Uh, he didn't realize it bottom decked. That's okay. That, 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 that's something I got to tell him after the game. Um, and, and that's the nice thing about watching the replays, right? You get to see all your play mistakes. You get to see uh, other opportunities. You get to replay things in your mind. And uh, in this situation, I'll be able to tell him, like, hey, that was actually a 3,000 Worlds, which bottom decks. He, he might have thought it was a true of Bastardo. Okay, so sorry, guys. I, I keep getting sidetracked here. So it looks like now, um, whoops, let me go back a little bit. So he 1K counters out of the Kairos attack. And then I swing in with Sabo here. I say, you know what? I really, really want to get rid of this Cracker. That's what I was attacking was the Cracker with, with, the, with the Kairos. Then I play a Rebecca, do a top three search. I grab a True Nova Stardo. It's the best removal I could find there. And now I'm sitting on 15 plus another five or six cards in the trash. So I'm sitting pretty well, right? I, I, I've got a lot of ammunition, quote unquote, to work with. And I think my hand is like True Nova Stardo, True Nova Stardo, and a Luffy. Or, and then some other random stuff. Yeah, it looks like King Kong uh, gun, Gats, uh, and I can't see the rest. Okay, so right here, again, I think, unfortunately, my son did not have the best pull here. So he's like, okay, can I just... Wait, did he forget to draw? He draws afterwards. That was the funny part. So, uh... <laughs> we, so, so we were talking a lot. You know, you can't hear the banter going on between us. Uh, he played out Shirahoshi. I was like, oh, was your, was your pull that bad? And he goes, yeah, it was, yeah, it was pretty crappy. And um, I'm like, okay. So he swings seven at... Um, I, I, oh, he was going to swing seven at uh, Sabo. But I was like, if you swing seven at Sabo, I'm probably going to block it, wink, wink, because he's a 6K versus a 5K. Okay, so then he swings five with Perispero. And he almost completely... Free I almost forgot, too. I wasn't paying attention uh, to, to do the, the Shirahoshi's effect. So I take this final hit here because in my mind, I'm like, wait, Shirahoshi, he had to have drawn a big mom, right? And then watch now right here, he remembers, <laughs> as funny as it is, he remembers, oops, why won't this uh, bottom part go away? There we go. Um, it should go away now. But right here is where he remembers like, wait a minute, I didn't draw the three, trash the two from Shirahoshi. And I'm like, okay, that would have probably play, changed everything, but who knows, right? Who knows? So he trashes the two Randolphs in hand. Okay, and now it's back to my turn. I've already drawn for the turn. Um, <clears throat> I am starting to get concerned about the board state, right? Because I have no life, right? I have no life cards. And I only have one blocker. Um, and I, I played Luffy there and pulled it back because I'm thinking, I'm like, you know, I could try to go for game. He has three life. I have a King Kong gun in the trash. And I'm, and he, I think he has five cards in hand. I, I think he has f uh, five or six cards in hand. I, it looks like uh, I could almost count it there. Excuse me, but I think he has like five or six cards in hand. And at first, I go for it in my mind. I'm like, you know, what, let me let me play this out the the correct way. Even if I could have won the game there, it's still better to play this out the right way, right? And I, and I'm like, okay, let me just play the Luffy. Let me gobble up whatever you have on the board, and then play a blocker and pass the turn to you. Um, <clears throat> and that's kind of how this this turn goes. Um, and it's a good thing, by the way, because there's actually a beige in his uh, in his life cards. So I swing for seven at the cracker. He, he knows there's no point defending it there because I'm going to get it no matter what. Or it's going to cost him every card in hand. And now he has nothing next turn. And I'm going to play two. I'm going to have two blockers, you know. So, okay. I return um, seven cards to the bottom. And I, I show him the cards. He, he, he gets it. He doesn't really care as much. Uh, then I swing seven at Perisperos. Now he gets to the search top three. Luffy will not stand next turn. Unless I use this effect, of course. And let's see what he gets. He gets a Sanji. He's like, okay, I need a blocker since, you know, 
my opponent has a 5k, a 6k, a 5k, and a 7k on the board. <laughs> so then I swing for 5, and he takes it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to play a blocker at the end of the turn. I'm going to swing with Orlumbus as well, because I have no life left, and him swinging at my Orlumbus could could win me the game, theoretically, right? Like that, in, like next turn instead of him swinging at my, uh, my life. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to swing 5. And this is where he gets the Sanji, uh, the uh, excuse me, the beige, and he says, "Okay, you're not gonna swing with him." And I'm like, "Okay, uh, we're saying something here. I, I don't know what we were saying." Okay, then I pay two to trash the Rebecca, play Idio. I pay one for the leader's effect because now I'm at six or less, and I get a Bartolomeo. And your turn. Okay, and I, I was telling him that you know beige goes away after you use the effect. The trigger effect happens, and then you trash the card. <clears throat> now my, you know, now Rylan is at one life, and he is he is up against the ropes here, right? And again, like I said, this is his first time really playing against Rebecca with Katakuri, and he did not get a good pull. Those two um, ten cost uh, Charlotte Linlins in hand. There's a reason. He, remember, he got those. Well, excuse me, not not remember. He got those from the Shirahoshi search. So it was, you know, it was just unlucky, too little, too late, stuff like that. So he swings in for twelve here. And I think he plays out his Sanji that he just uh, scooped up. And that's going to pretty much be, you know, that's going to be all she wrote, right? If, if, he, if he passes like this. Okay, let's see what happens. The Shirahoshi is just sitting there. Okay, so he does that. Just like we thought. And he joked around. He's like, all right, I'm swinging, swinging at uh, Luffy. <laughs> it's like, okay. All right, so Luffy does not stand because, um, again, I used his effect last turn. So I'm gonna have to stand him from his from the effect in the game or this turn to get him up to attack if I need him. <clears throat> so I have a true number starter in hand, and I have at least 15 cards in the trash. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna swing five and see what he does. Try to get a card out of hand because because I, I know he has to have a big mom in hand. Like I don't literally know if he does, but I know he has to. So okay, that got me a 2k counter. So that was information, right? So the information there is okay. You have no 1k counters in hand, and you just had to throw away a 2k counter. Let's see what happens when I swing 7k here with um, Kairos. So right here, the only thing that could have saved him is if he blocked with Sabo. Or Sanji, excuse me, Sanji. But he got the beige, which he did put there, I believe, at some point in the game. I could be wrong. Um, I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure. But he, he gets the, the second beige and says, okay, this guy can't swing. And it didn't matter which one he chose, to be honest. I guess technically it did. Right, it, it, it technically would have, but not but not really. Not really. Because the, the idea is this. If if he does that to my Luffy, well, now I just Trun of Astardo his Sanji, and then I attack, you know, with King Kong Gun for, you know, 6 plus 6, 12. And, and I know he's not going to be able to block that. <clears throat> and I have all this Dawn left as well. You know, it would cost me 4 and 3, so I would still have um, uh, 1 Dawn left, so I could put him at 13. Okay, but let's see what happens instead. He says, okay, he can't do it. So I'm like, okay. So um, I needed to do this in the, the correct order, but I think in the game I was just telling him what I was going to do. I say, hey, I'm going to return this seven because the game was starting to run long. See, it was running like 30 minutes. I was like, hey, I'm going to King Kong gun my Luffy here, and then I'm going to return these seven to stand him so that I could actually get the effect of his, um, you know, of getting the the double attack, but it didn't matter because he only has one life, in, or he has no life anyway, right? So I'm like, okay, Truna Bastardo, <laughs> and we're just trolling right there. I stand him up from the effect, Truna Bastardo, and then attach one and pay three for King Kong gun and swing for 14. And he goes, okay, 2K counter, 2K counter, 2K counter, 2K, 2K. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was a good game. That was a lot of fun. So uh, it, it we're definitely going to play this matchup more in the future. I do not consider that a fair game. And by the way, that was not even a fair game, really, like for, for my son to get that. We're just talking right here. I'm going to pause it. Uh, and he still almost beat me. Now, don't get me wrong. Let's go ahead and back up just a little bit here. Let me hit play so it doesn't mess up with the thing here. When does he first hit 10 Dawn? Because I play the Orlumbus uh, for a reason, preparing for Charlotte Linlin. It was before the Shirahoshi is when he got to Tendon. Okay. Let's go all the way to... I think it's like right here. He plays Cracker. No, I'm not I'm not sure where he gets to Tendon. But whatever the case was, for the longest time, I was sitting on an Orlumbus in hand, 
and a Truno Bastardo, where I was kind of waiting for him to play that. And that's one of the reasons, I think it was right around here, yeah, I think it was around here, where I did not want to block with the Sabo anymore. I didn't want to risk losing the Sabo, and I even take an extra Sabo for after this one was going to die eventually. Because in hand, I have a Truno Bastardo and an Orlumbus. And I, and I have enough cards in my trash where I could easily take out the Charlotte Lin Lin. Now, yeah, I'll still lose the life and have to deal with his Katakuri attacks each turn, but as long as I have at least some kind of blocker, and it is, uh, preferably a blocker like um, Sabo, where he survives, a, he can't be, uh, he can't get hit by a, um, what's it called, a uh, Thunderbolt, the turn he's played, which gives me another turn to set up. So, but anyway, so that was kind of logic there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Not, not a lot more to talk about. This was this was a fun game here, and I'm, we're definitely going to be playing more um of this matchup in the future and um if you guys got any comments suggestions you know tell us what you thought about it did we miss anything i always want to know if we missed something any questions or anything like that all right guys well uh, i appreciate y'all sticking around especially if you stuck around for this long and um please don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time guys peace